I wish I could share with you the smells, all the sensations that go along with this. It's just so darn cool. This is Honey Hill Farm. It's January 24th and we got some work to do. I manage these six colonies right here for a friend of mine. Uh, he's hired me to do that for the last several years and it's worked out really well. We got some great big tulip popper trees up here. And boy, when those things are blooming, these bees pack it in between the privet, the tulip poplar, and the clover and other flowers that are blooming in the springtime. They really pack in that early spring honey. It's really something to behold. But you can see it's kind of a mess around here. Lots of stuff we gotta do. We gotta clean up this mess. We're gonna put that double stack nuke right there into that 10 frame box. That's a replacement colony for a dead out. We're also gonna check the general health of the rest of these colonies, look at the weight, see if they need some fondant or food. And we're also gonna address any mite problems. Uh, probably gonna treat with oxalic acid vapor. Maybe check them for mice to see what the count is. Let's get started with the cleanup. Here we go. Well, what do y'all think? So much better. Let's get in some bees. I'm gonna go ahead and put this uh, double stack nuke. We're gonna take the bees out of here and put them in the 10 frame box. I'll set this on the ground down here. Take the lid off. Part of the deal out here at Honey Hill Farm is that I keep these hives full of bees. And so as they die out, I just put a new nuke in here and that's, that's what I'm gonna do today. This is a nuke I had up at the farm that I brought out here recently, and uh, they look pretty healthy. Haven't been really through them in a while. It is a little chilly, so the bees haven't been flying much today, but you can see we got a pretty good amount of bees in here. So all I do when I transfer these over, we remember we've got 10 frames of bees in the nuke on these double stacks, so really just gonna transfer the frames over. Okay. Do have some beetles on there, which I'm not excited about. We're gonna to have to watch the beetles this year. This winter I've seen more than usual for the winter time. So you got some food stores here. Healthy looking bees. I'll kill some beetles as I see them. Uh, so what I'll usually do in these nuke boxes like this, these double stack nukes, if the top box is mostly food, I'll just kind of split them like this. My guess is any brood there is will be in the lower box for the most part this time of year. So I just kind of, man, those beetles, I don't like that. Let's just kind of split the top box like this, put the food on the outside. I'll just put the bottom box on the other nuke box so you can kind of see them better. Yeah, they're getting a little bit feisty, but look how strong and healthy they look, man. Nice looking nuke here. Assuming these are oriented like I think they will be, I'm just gonna take the bottom box and just drop it right down in the middle of those other frames. We got a lot of pollen there, lots of beetles. I'm actually gonna go uh, beat these over on the top of another box and just mash some beetles. I don't know if you can see all those beetles in there, but this time of the year, that is very unusual. It's got me a little worried. I don't like to see that at all. Just kind of gently tap it like this. You'll see all the beetles and bees drop on there. They don't kill the beetles, watch. Just tap the corner. The bees kind of fly away. You can just mash the beetles like this. Man, that is a ridiculous number of beetles. You don't normally see this in the winter time. I'm gonna have to figure out how to treat for beetles. It looks like way earlier than usual. Try to avoid smashing any bees. The bees see the bees collecting around them. I'm trying to drive them away. But if you can just do that, you can get rid of a lot of beetles that way. Just kind of wipe the bees off. All right, well, we killed plenty of beetles there, a bunch. I hate those things. This does have me worried. Not typical to see this many beetles this time of year. I might have to just come out and drop some peppermint in here. Use Earl's method from Hillbilly Beekeeper. Pollen is right on this frame. I think we'll just put it right here, it'll be against the honey. 
which typically want to see is honey on the outside, working into pollen and then brood in the middle. Man, see, this is just a really healthy looking nuke box though. I think they're gonna do well if we can just keep the beetles under control and let them grow. All right, lots of beautiful bees. Got a nice brood patch right there. And look at this right here. Look at how perfect that brood is. Very few empty cells. Looks like that queen is starting to ramp it up. Love seeing that. See, I'm just dropping them in. Now, I don't see beetles on these center frames to speak of because that's where all the bees are, all the brood. That's where much of the activity is taking place. So the bees keep them corralled up and to the outside, typically. That frame uh, has brood on it. Looks a little different, though. These bees right here must have emerged, and we got eggs in almost every cell. Look at that, wow, looking pretty. These starting to ramp it up. Look at that frame of brood, isn't that pretty? Actually, I'm gonna remove this frame right here to give it a little more space when we put this next frame in because it's got a lot of bees on it and I don't wanna take a chance of rolling a queen if she's on here. Haven't looked real hard for the queen, I'm not too worried about it. Pollen, not really much brood on this frame, but not a lot of beetles on that frame either. For some reason, that one frame was really loaded up with them, but we killed most of those beetles. I'll shake the bees off here. That way we can, oh, we got some beetles on here. I'm gonna go ahead and murder these beetles too. All right, look at those beetles. We're gonna kill those jokers. Is it bad that it's kind of fun to kill those suckers? <laughs> Look at them all, man. This is not a good thing. I don't like to see that. In the winter time especially, my goodness, what the heck. Oh, those things are a nemesis. I hate them. Okay. Okay, now another question is, what to do with all the bees that are over here in the nick box? What I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm just gonna smoke them down. Get these bees off of here. I will clean some of this wax off of here as well. Not much, just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna take these bees right here. I'm just gonna shake them hard. And there they are. And I'll set this up here in front of the hive, the nuke box there. Those bees will just kind of run down in there. They'll be in good shape. I'm gonna give them some hive alive find it. Now this lid right here has a rim around it, a patty rim, which works well. Um, it's important if you use it to try to use lids with rims on them or else uh, do a shim. It works much better that way. So they say you should just kind of cut the logo out, the Hive Alive logo there, but I do a little bit bigger. I'm just going to go ahead and do a pretty good size square here. Seems to work well. I'm just going to go ahead and give these bees this fondant. I think it'll help them get a little head start since I've it's been a little traumatic here, uh, switching them over. I'm just gonna lay it on them, like this. Just put it in there on them. And put the lid on. Looking forward to seeing how this, this colony does. So my goal with these next five colonies is to uh, check for weight, uh, peek in on the bees. And on this one, I think I'm gonna do a, a mite wash. One way to test for a weight is just to pick up from behind like this. And this one is very heavy, so I don't think we need to add any kind of food on here. However, I think we'll just pull this off and see if we can test for mites. Whoa, look at that. What do y'all think? <laughs> Man, look at those bees. It's amazing because they're really not flying today. It is a little chilly, but it's not that cold. It's, it's definitely warm enough to work with them a little bit, but we got plenty of bees in here to chest for mites. See if we can find a good frame of brood and pull out a sample. Nothing but honey, look at that. Nothing but honey so far. It's starting to get a little bit warm for this jacket I got on. I am not seeing anything but honey up here in this top box, look at that. Guess I'm gonna have to remove the top box to get down into the brood. Let me try one more frame. We got some brood a little bit. We got eggs and larvae in there, so. There's a little bit of brood right there. There's the queen actually. The queen is right here. So I think this will be a good frame to get a sample from. Pretty little queen doing her thing. I'm gonna actually take her off of there and put her over. On a different frame. 
So we know we don't have her. Let me see what this next frame looks like. I may take a sample from it. Oh yeah, this is the one we're gonna take the sample from. Okay. Ah, they're getting after me. They're not real happy, which I don't blame them. So you'll know the nurse bees will kind of stay behind. They won't fly. We got a pretty good little bunch here. Just a few more. That's a third cup. So I think we got half a cup in there for sure. I'm going to put this hive back together and shake them and see what we end up with for a mite count. This is not the best jacket to be wearing for this. Go right up my sleeves. Okay, now we're going to shake them for a minute and see what we end up with. It's good if you swirl them. I am using Don Ultra dishwashing detergent. Seems to have worked well for me this past year, so I'm going to keep using it. You can also use alcohol and shake for a minute. Let's see what we have. One mite. How about that? So they're looking good, and they are definitely looking healthy. Um, I have hit these with a couple of rounds of oxalic acid, I believe. And I hit them with Apivar late last summer, and that's really the last treatment they've had uh, besides a couple of rounds of OAV. So they're looking good, looking clean, nice, beautiful brood pattern. Expecting big things out of this colony moving forward. All right, let's check the weight on some of these. Uh, this one right here. Oh, I can't hardly even pick that thing up. That is so heavy. How about this one right here? Oh my gosh, same thing. This one right here. That's good and heavy. This one up here I think is typically pretty light. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's not heavy at all. So we definitely don't need to put any fondant on those middle three right there. Uh, this one right here, no fondant. This one has really struggled for years. I'm not sure why. Um, it does have bees in it as far as I know. Uh, we're just trying to nurse them through and maybe they'll explode in the spring. But I want to check for mites in that one and maybe this one as well and just see what we have. We'll put fine in this one and then we'll wrap it up. I already opened these up and smoked them down. There was a pretty good population of bees in that top box when I first opened them up. But, uh, and they got a lot of food stores in here. Look at that. It's a medium box. Let's take this box off and we'll see if we can find some brood down below. Gently smoke them. Not anything really going on on that out, these two outside frames here much. Oh, let's see if we can get us a sample. There's a nice patch of brood right there. Now I'm gonna look closely for the queen. Don't wanna kill a queen if I can help it. Oh, lots of, uh, if you can see it right there, lots of milk brood, larva. This will be a perfect frame to take. Just wanna make sure I don't see the queen. I'll look down in here too for the queen real, real gently, make sure. Let's see, the bees that are not flying are, are probably nurse bees, which is what we want. Okay, I think we're about right. Before I close this thing up, I thought I'd just let you take a peek down in here with me. I wish I could share with you the smells, all the sensations that go along with this. It's just so darn cool. Let's see what we have on that one. I think we got four mites in there and maybe a little bit of trash. Within threshold, but I'd like to see fewer. All right, let's just check in on this light one right here. Oh, they already have found it. I must have been up here and put some fondant on them already. Oh yeah, they're eating it. Just gonna leave them alone. They still have plenty left, it looks like. This is not a super strong colony. Let's just break into the bottom box a little bit and I'll show you what I mean. Oh yeah, a tiny little cluster. I'm probably gonna have to replace these girls. Oh goodness, all right, well. So it is. Mission accomplished. Looks a lot better out here. We got the bees into this 10 frame box here. They seem to be going right to work and doing well. 
and uh, they do have some fun to give them a little head start. The rest of these colonies are, are heavy, these four right here anyway, and the mite loads are within threshold. I do think I'm going to hit them with oxalic acid vapor just to be sure. A little insurance policy here. The hive down there on the end, um, that colony in there is very weak. I'm going to replace them. Uh, when I looked into them a little bit more, I realized there was water in the box. I guess they were tilted backwards a little bit, so I tilted them forward a little bit. Not sure if that contributed to the problem, but it definitely didn't help. If you'd like to try out the Hive Alive products, you can go in the link in the description below. Put in the code BRUCE10 for a discount. I hope these bees out here make a good honey crop for the folks here at Honey Hill Farm. They've been so good to me. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.